comment on your reaction uh, when you heard about Carl Landry's incident? Well, my first reaction was was one of, uh, of fear for his safety, and uh, I was just concerned about his health. And uh, once I found out that he was um, oh, going to be okay, I was always much relieved. It's a scary situation, and um, it's it's a terrible situation, and it's it's. A fact that when you live in a major metropolis, stuff like that happens, and I'm just thankful and, and very happy that, that Carl is safe and saw him today, and he's still smiling. But uh, it could have been uh, really catastrophic. Did he notify anyone on the team, or did you guys go visit him in the hospital at all? Um, he notified Aaron Brooks and, and Chuck Hayes, and they were able to, to to see him yesterday. He was he was away. Um, just collecting his thoughts. So he came into practice uh, this morning, and so it was good to see him. So how is he doing? Well, shaking up, obviously. Um, it's a dangerous uh, episode that he went through, and so it's going to take him a few days just to um, get, get right mentally and, uh, and, and recover. On your Chinese blog, you mentioned... Uh, family and how that's affected life and your outlook on life. Could you elaborate on that, please? Well, <laughs> I don't get caught up in, in basketball too much. I, it's my job and I, and I try to do it well, but it's, it's not the most paramount thing in, in life. The most important thing is your health, uh, your friends and your family. And, and beyond that, everything is, is gravy. And uh, unfortunately, you're, you're reminded that, of that a little bit when uh, something like this that happened to Carl happens. Um, and so you you go home and you, you kiss your wife and you kiss your babies and you're, you're thankful for, for the blessings of health and family and friends. Thank you very much.